Hello there guys and welcome back to our car modeling tutorial and today in this episode what I think we'll do is work around the rear wheel arch here now like I said in between um, episodes I've added in some placeholder wheels now these don't need to be wheels if you don't have any already um, they could just be um, basic pipes or cylinders or something in there just so that you can see um, how the car is sitting because what we need to do at this stage is we want to make sure that as we're going around here for example our wheels is sitting nicely inside the arch it's curving around as it should um, we can see portions of the wheel are protruding out of the bodywork which is exactly what we want so we just want to go through and make sure that we're um, adding all the required information inside here now what we're going to need to do as well let's just see that it's not sitting too straight there so let's adjust this um, what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to start to work around the rear. Now, we're going to do that by using another pipe, no cylinder should I say, not pipe. Um, I'll bring this around here and we're going to follow the same process as episode number one. And we are going to bring this into position and scale this up. So we'll go around something like that. Maybe scale up a little bit more. And now we'll just reduce the thickness. So we'll take the thickness down. I uh, can't remember what it was. Let's, I think maybe 0 0.09 to match the front. Yeah, that looks good to me. 0 0.09 looks fine. So what I'm going to do is the same again. We're going to delete our lower edges here that we don't need and delete the edges at the back here. That's going to allow us to bring this into place. And this is where we're going to really start to see some definition down this side now. We're going to need to use a combination again of our rear view this time because we are going to want this to firstly sit where it should in terms of the position here. So that's looking good. And we're going to need to position this similarly to how we did before. So we'll want this for example to be up here. And then we'll need this to come up. We've got a crease in there. So we'll have this reflect the angle of that crease. A little bit of info here for the rear diffuser area, so we'll just get that up there. Now down here, this is obviously going to sit at the lower portion of our side skirt. That's sitting just fine there. It's going to follow along there. I think what we'll do is we'll pull this down here. And we'll want to maybe push this one up here to make a bit more space so that we can add another loop inside there. And this is going to be for the joint to the side skirt. Okay. Now, one thing we need to be wary of is how much geometry we have moving over here. Um, it's going to probably be a case that, due to the way that this is rounded, that this is actually all going to end up going up and around this point. Um, and then it looks like the, the tail light could absorb a lot of the damage for that, so that should be okay. Um, so that's looking good. What we're going to need to do then is using our rear view here, we're going to want to make sure that we are conforming nicely to the positions here. So we'll drop this in just there. And just as we did at the front, I'm going to make sure that our rear arch is following our line nicely. Or maybe just ever so slightly at the top here. Okay. Now again, we're not going to see how this is going to look in the front, so that's another reason we've got our wheels inside here. 
so we can see. So it looks like our lower portions here probably going to want to be about there. And then we're just going to make sure that this is looking good now. Let's just see in our back view. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this wheel that I've brought in and I'm going to bring it out so it's at the right point. Might be a better idea there. Okay, so that's, yep, that looks good. Let's grab these points here. So it looks to me like maybe it starts to curve there. That looks good. Happy with that and how that's sitting just there. So what we'll want to do now with this is we're going to want this to um, just grab, let's grab all of these edges except the ones on the inside here. Just holding control to deselect these. I'm just going to hit Control E, and I'm just going to pull up on the green arrow and go something like that. And we'll want to get this in line over here, and this in line down here. So we're going to do something like that, and then we're going to want to grab all of these points here. And bring them in. Maybe this one there. Maybe something like that. Perfect. You can see that's going to sit nicely in line there. So what we'll want to try and do now is we're going to want to try and meet all of these areas. So let's just start to get these running on their correct trajectory there. That's looking good. That's looking good. And I'm going to grab all of these here. I'm going to hit Control E. I'm going to take them out here. And what I'm going to try or aim to do is snap them to the existing geometry. So we have this point here, this point here, here, and here. Okay, so for the most part that's doing okay. Now it does look like here, I actually do want this to be something more like that. So maybe let's add in So maybe we want to do something actually like this. Bring that down there. And then this comes out here. So we have that flowing around into that portion there. We're going to have these lines here. Meet in here and here. And then I think maybe everything else should kind of flow up and over. So let's grab these two. Pull these out as well. 
And let's get this one snapped over here. So I just want to do this fairly rough just now. Get this one snapped here. Obviously we're not going to be able to attach those just now. They're snapped there. Now I think what we'll want to do is I want that to be coming out. I want to follow that line straight down there. I want this one to be going in. And this one to be going in. So they're kind of following the same pattern. out just a little bit there and it looks like now what we'll want to do is let's grab all of these we're going to hit control E I'm going to take this up here and there is a line sitting about there Take all of these up here and this one to the top there. Bring them in, just gonna hide the wheels real quick. So these will go along this here. Okay, so I want to have that going around up there. And then basically what we're going to need now is we're going to need all the lines that are going to be coming through here. So if we insert an edge loop, control one in just here. merge that just there. And what we need to do is we need this here to kind of help follow on from these lines quite nicely. So I may take a little bit of time, I might speed this a little bit up, um, maybe not too much but just enough to crack on. Okay guys, so what we'll do here then is we'll now add a line in here. So I'm just going to start it from there to there. Again, we've got a triangle, but we don't need to worry about that too much. This is going to become part of this point up here. This is kind of a new little crease that's created. So we'll get those 
position there and up here. Oops. And we'll want this one over here. Okay. Now we're not going to merge that just yet because what we're going to do is we're going to need that um, as we're working around the back here. We don't want to be dragging the select and vertices and moving everything at the front. So we'll leave that just like that for now. And we'll maybe bring this up here. So this crease kind of stops around this point, just there. Okay, so that's looking, that's looking pretty good so far. And then we're looking good over the wheels. Now I just like my cars nice and low, pretty slammed. Um, so your wheels, you may want to move them down just a little bit to get a better idea of that. Now, what we'll do is let's move up now and along the back. So, we'll grab up each of these edges here, I'm going to hit Control E, and we'll go in the way just there, and we'll bring this in just now, to kind of create that shape. One merge over there, so let's just maybe bring these down here. Okay, I think it will be something like that. What we'll do is let's get all of these points and we'll maybe bring all of these down here. So maybe run all of those down here. And then let's just make sure we're sit nicely up there I'll pull those out there to help maintain that distance there, so that's looking good so looking fairly smooth as we go, it's important to make sure that this is nice and smooth in this section here because there's a lot of geometry going on in one spot. Um, could be a little bit awkward when it comes to smoothing the car, but so far we're looking okay. Let's grab these edges again, these two here. I'm just going to hit Control E and I'm just going to bring these into the center here. Again, just by holding X. Maybe you have to try and stay in line, like so. Do something like that. And let's insert a couple of edge loops here. We won't go too many, we'll maybe go one just on here. just go two for now because we don't know how much geometry we're going to need in the lower rear bumper section so we'll just bring that up here section of the car now, which is looking good. Let's, let's have a go at duplicating this and flipping that over the other side. Okay, so far we're looking good. 
across here. We'll probably want to redo this side too. Oops. Looks like I need to reset my transformations. Let's just grab all of this. good so far. What we could think about now is working around the rear bumper. So what we we'll want is let's make sure we are sitting in line there. So let's have a go then. Maybe we'll take this round first. Let's get our rear view here and hide the wheels. I'm just going to hit Control E, and we'll extrude again. I'm just going to bring this across, maybe just to something like that. Okay. Let's bring that back. Alright. So let's just bring this back here. We'll maybe take this halfway and this halfway and then we'll want to take it over something like that and then let's do the same again so we'll grab these edges we'll extrude this around here Vertices. Let's grab this and we'll go up here. And along. Now what we could do with this is it looks like this can probably actually come up here with us. Something like that. this line down here is fairly straight. Okay. And then on our rear view let's just bring that back a little bit closer. Something like that. Okay, let's just get a Decent view of the rear bumper here, my references. Okay, so it looks fairly simple. That's, it looks like all we're really going to need to do. Let's get our rear view in here. If we hit Control E again, <coughs> and we'll bring this into the middle. We'll get X snap that. Okay. What we could actually do with this is we could actually have this run down here instead. And we can delete these edges and then this edge here could run off down here and then that would allow us to get another edge in there so we'll maybe do that instead so we'll maybe run up something like that In there. 
then we just want to make sure here that we're looking good. So we'll bring those out here and here. Yeah, and then take this all the way out here. That's looking pretty decent. And what we'll do as well is let's add some edge loops. And then we'll maybe add these depending on what's kicking about here. So maybe we'll put one here because it's just underneath that portion of the light. And we'll put one here. And then essentially what we'll do is we'll just make sure that that's curving nicely around here something like that that will also allow us to adjust the angles here Cool, okay, it's looking good. I think one last thing we could do is maybe if we grab all of these edges, we'll hit Control E, we'll bring this up, and what I want to do with this is this point here I'm going to merge down there. And then these points can be part of this portion of the body here. Something like that. Okay, it's looking good. Um, what we could also do is we could have a think about this diffuser down here. So we can grab these points, these edges here, and then Control E. I'm just going to pull them in on the green. So it looks like that should be reflecting the kind of shape maybe that we want. does look like it pushes out a little bit here. We'll just make sure this follows the line. It's looking pretty good. And then what we'll do as well is let's do just what we did at the front. We're going to grab these here and we're just going to extract them. Because the diffuser is going to be a separate portion to the rest of the car. Now we'll worry about the majority of this a little later, but for now what we'll do is we'll grab We'll grab these ones and extrude them down. So go something like that. So these bits here Okay, so 
so actually these will want to take up here it's kind of a, a secondary lip on there looks like like that. So it looks like that should work quite nicely. And then we can extrude these in. in. Now with these ones here, pull these up to get these level. It'll be a case of that these ones will probably go a lot further in, something like that. And then we'll drop these down and in, something on this tra trajectory here. So that looks okay in the rear, which it does. Merge those two together. Get a bit of curvature in there. Insert an edge loop just here. Don't think we'll need any curvature. And then snap over here. So that's looking good. A little bit of the diffuser there done as well. So I think we'll stop there for this episode. And in the next episode, we'll probably continue around the rear here. Let's just do that. Let's put these two. Oh, I'm going to have to delete the history on those food transformations. Right, guys, I'll leave it there. Um, like I said, in the next episode, we'll continue working on the rear bumper. We'll get these gap kind of joined together. Um, for the purpose of this tutorial we are going to make the soft top uh, but we'll add that to a layer and then when it comes to creating the interior for the car in the next tutorial um, we will hide that and then have the information inside. Alright guys, cool.